Hey everyone, let's talk about the Mandalorian and Ahsoka Tanu and Grogu 3-pack from Amazon. This was announced about a month ago, and it arrived today. You can see there's some really beautiful mural art on the side, and then instead of the mural art on the back, we get some clear photos of the actual figures rather than the render that's on the front, and then as well as the side. Since we don't have a window as nice as that would look on this box, we have to show the figures on the side. Let's talk about the price, because I saw a lot of memes about this when this was first announced, and a lot of complaining but this goes for $66.99 on Amazon, so considering that each mainline figure costs about $25, Grogu was $10 when he came out, that leaves us with $60, and so that is only a $7 difference, which accounts for the cloak and the spear, as well as the 20% inflation for Grogu that we saw on all other figures in the line, excluding the fact that the new Grogu costs $25 and just comes with the pram and a couple accessories, so I think the price makes a lot of sense. I guess just seeing that for a single item just seems really high because we're used to just paying, you know, $25 or $30 for figures. It's really easy to get these figures open. I like the way that the tissue paper is not sealed at the bottom, so you can just pop them right out instead of having to unwrap them. The first thing that stands out to me is obviously the thigh plate on this, and the helmet looks great. I don't know if it's a new sculpt, and then obviously Ahsoka's cloak is new. This is a much more accurate cut than when people put the Island Journey Ray cloak on her. It's pretty close though, so you know, if you've got that figure, you don't really need to uh, upgrade. This is coming out very close to the holidays, so it's very clear to me that this is just a push to get these figures back onto shelves, or not onto shelves, but you know, just available on Amazon in a way that's really easy for people to just grab it as a gift. And then if you're gonna re-release something and you know that collectors are gonna be interested in it, you know, throwing in a couple extra accessories I think is a great way to do it. Unfortunately, it does have the sort of effect of feeling like you're being forced to buy figures that you already have in order to get a couple new pieces. But that, you know, if that's how you choose to collect, then that's your decision and no one's forcing you to buy this. So I really was a little bit confused by all of the anger around this release. I don't see a lot of differences here. The silver paint on the belt just looks a little bit more vibrant on the new release least, but that just might be because I have a matte coat on my old one. By the way, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not already for more Black Series content. Let's take a look at Mando now. I have a lot of the older Mandos here, so we're going to compare a bunch of them right now. My Beskar Mando is the original body, but I do have a custom head and cape on there, so I'm going to move him out of the way so we can just compare the two newest releases here. So obviously the one on the left is the first release from a couple years ago, and then we have the Maldo Kreese and the new Mando from the three pack. One thing to note here is the new thigh pad. So we did see this updated accurate thigh pad on the Maldo Kreese Mando, but this is the first time we're getting it just on a standard release instead of the, you know, the snowy deco that we had on the Maldo Kreese. Let's compare the helmet from the first release to the most recent one. It does look like the newer one has a slightly wider visor, both vertically and horizontally. It's it's really hard to tell. I'm, I don't have the eye for this kind of stuff and, you know, just some warping and different paint differences can really make a difference. So it does look like a slightly updated helmet on the right, but I don't think that that's actually true. One other thing to note is the colors of the knee pads here. You can see the original Beskar, uh, the colors are a lot less vibrant. Here we have the magenta and the blue versus the browns on the one on the left. But don't forget that at Celebration they announced that we're getting a fully newly tooled Mando, so that is coming out sometime in the next year probably, so you might want to hold off on buying this entire set. Let's take a look at the new Grogu with the new mainline release that goes for $25, as well as the original release. So the standing one is the original release. I did do some weathering on that, so don't look at the paint details there. And then this is the mainline release with the arms at his side. This comes with the pram, uh, you know, and it's the, the one that's $25 and has the extra accessories. You can see that they're both seated, but the sculpt is different because the one that comes in the three pack on the right does have the arms sculpted into this other position. He doesn't come with the accessories that he's meant to hold so let's take a look at how small is this little accessory here i can't believe they actually released that as an accessory but uh let's take this bowl that comes with the original figures as well as the new mainline grogu but it only fits in the hands of the one on the three pack so that would have been a nice addition to include with this set i definitely think that that is kind of uh, lame that they didn't include that because it does look great with it in his hand and finally we can actually have him hold this bowl but none of the figures that come with the bowl can actually hold it but i think that's kind of bs then let's look at the accessories. So the new one is the Beskar Spear here. It's quite flimsy, you know, it's kind of the exact same plastic as a lot of the weapons you can 
pretty much expect exactly what this feels like, no surprises there. Does fit nicely into his hands. By the way, these stands are the hexagon stands that are available on my website and my Patreon, as well as Etsy. If you have a 3D printer, you can make these. They're really great uh, for holding figures into place and super easy to use, and they're part of the larger hexagon system, which you've seen in my shelf series videos. But let's actually take one last look at Ahsoka's cloak. I didn't show this in great detail before. I actually have the Ahsoka cloak from Disneyland, and it's actually very accurate to this. So this is cut really nicely. It's quite simple, but it actually sits really nice on her. And I think as far as soft goods go, this is pretty good. I will still be displaying her without it. I don't really like the mix of media. So let me know if you guys will be picking this up. As controversial as this was, it apparently sold very well. Some people that I know that use Amazon affiliate links said they sold a ton of these through those links, more so than a lot of mainline releases. So let me know what you guys think of this, if you're gonna be picking it up. You know, if you don't want it, don't buy it. But for those who are excited about this, I hope you get yours soon as well. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you all next time.